Hello and welcome at TU Wien, Vienna University of Technology. My name is Victor Weiss and I'm happy to guide you through our manuscript. The manuscript, Virus-like particle size and molecular weight and mass determination applying gas phase electrophoresis on a native NES gamma instrumentation, was published in 2019 in Analytical and Bioanalytical Chemistry as paper in Forefront. It deals with the analysis of virus-like particles, or VLPs in short, applying gas phase electrophoresis. Virus-like particles are proteinaceous spheres originating from viruses. However, they are no longer infectious. Instead, they can be used as carrier molecules or for vaccination purposes. Gas phase electrophoresis is carried out on an NES gamma instrumentation. NES gamma is short for nanoelectrospray gas phase electrophoretic mobility molecular analysis. The same instrumentation is also known under several other names, for instance, MacroIMS, LiquiscanES, ESDMA, or ESSMPS. All those instruments are doing the same thing. They are separating single charged analytes in the gas phase at ambient pressure according to their electrophoretic mobility diameter. In case of spherical particles, this EM diameter corresponds to the diameter of such a sphere. The instrument consists of three parts. In the first part, the nanoelectrospray source with a charge reduction device, the analytes are transferred from the liquid into the gas phase, which means we have our bio nanoparticles, VLPs in that case, in a volatile electrolyte solution. We are applying a pressure an electric field and a sheath flow to generate a nanoelectrospray. In the end, we have multiple charge droplets which are then dried down and at the same time, charge equilibration occurs in a bipolar atmosphere. This atmosphere is either induced by a 210 polonium alpha particle source, a corona discharger or a soft X-ray charger. In the end, we have then surface dry single charged analytes which we introduce to the second part of our instrumentation, which is the electrostatic classifier with a nano differential mobility analyzer or nano DMA. There, two forces are acting on our, our polydispersed aerosol. First, we have a high laminar sheath flow of filtered air. And secondly, we have a tunable electric field. And by variation of the field strength, only particles of a certain size are able to pass through the nano DMA and enter the detector unit of the instrument, which is a condensation particle counter as monodispersed or actually as monomobile aerosol. In the CPC unit, the condensation particle counter unit, bio nanoparticles act as condensation nuclei and droplets are formed in a supersaturated atmosphere of either n butanol or water. These droplets are then counted as the pass a focused laser beam. We then have a spectrum where we can correlate the EM diameter with particle count values, as you can see on that example on that slide. We obtain EM diameters of surface dry particles with number based particle detection, which is actually in good accordance with recommendations of the European Commission for Nanoparticle Characterization, as we are able with such a setup to detect smaller sized sample components next to larger ones. This is the NES gamma instrumentation as it can be found in our laboratory. It consists of the nano electrospray source with a charge reduction device, the electrostatic classifier with the nano differential mobility analyzer at its side, and the condensation particle counter as detector unit of the instrument. Based on such a setup, we were able to analyze various virus-like particle containing samples. And some of the results I can present you here on that slide. You can find results for VLPs based on a cow pea mosaic virus, a norovirus, and bacteriophages P22 and T5. Subsequently, 
we correlated obtained EM diameter values of these VLPs to molecular weight values of such virus-like particles. Molecular weight values were obtained via mass spectrometry, and some of these data we found already in literature. Additionally, we regarded also virus-like particles based on uh, hepatitis B virus and a human rhinovirus. On that slide, you can see the corresponding correlation. What can we do now with such a correlation? Analyzing a VLP via gas phase electrophoresis yields its EM diameter. And taking that value to our correlation enables us to calculate its molecular weight. And I can show you that with the example of human papillomavirus 16. We detected it with, a, uh, with an EM diameter of 47.78 nanometers. Taking that value to our correlation yielded a molecular weight of 19,975 kilodaltons, which is actually in good approximation to the theoretical value of 20,260 kilodaltons, which we obtained by summing up all the proteins forming the proteinaceous sphere of the VLP. So to sum up, VLP analysis is possible via gas phase electrophoresis. We can target several characteristics of our sample, for instance, analyte homogeneity, particle number-based concentrations, and surface drive particle diameters. And based on the latter, we are able to calculate the molecular weight of our VLP. Even when native easy mass spectrometry is not able to yield molecular weight values due to sample limitations. However, I have to stress that gas phase electrophoresis and native easy mass spectrometry are actually complementary techniques. Thank you very much for your attention.